Hello guys and welcome back, it's Thursday again and we're here for episode number 16 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. Super excited as usual and this time around I'm gonna combine two of the more successful videos. I did the rigged pirate in 10 minutes if you saw that one and I also did 10 cars in 10 minutes. I'm gonna try to do as many rigged characters as I can in 10 minutes. Don't think I'll manage to do 10 but I'll see how many I can squeeze in within the time. I'll have to drop the poly count a little bit as well. I, pff, I mean the pirate wasn't exactly high poly was it but I'll still have to drop the poly count. So I won't be able to do a separate hand and thumb, I'll just do a fist instead. And for the face, I'll have to drop a little bit of detail there as well. But I'm gonna try to keep a consistent look between the characters. Also, if you stick around to the end, I'm gonna animate these. I'm gonna give them all a, a bit of a unique walk cycle. So it's gonna be a longer video today because of the bonus material, but it's gonna be an exciting one. Ah, wish me luck, guys. Let's just get started. I'm super excited. <laughs> Let's see where it takes us. All right, are you ready? I'm ready, I think. Let's go. Yeah, screen cast key is running, everything's recording, battery okay. Set the timer. Ready, steady, go. Okay, we're counting. Hide the cube, front view. Shift A, armature, we'll do a basic uh, humanoid this time. I'm gonna get uh, tab into edit mode, mirror, select these. We're gonna make it into a cartoon look. So let's drop this down as well. Drop that one down to there, make short legs. And uh, let's do shorter upper arms as well and a shorter spine. Get that cartoon look. We also need to compress the neck a little bit, I think, from this default rig. So there we go with them. Let's bring the head up, make that one uh, about half the size there. Okay, that one's done. Tab, uh, Alt H to show the cube. Tab into edit mode. Uh, Alt Z to see it. Scale it down to about there. Move it up. And let's move this up to shoulder height, roughly. There. Control R, do three loop cuts. Do one down here for the leg as well, actually. And move that one in. Um, we need uh, edit here, go into auto mirror, um, Alt Z to see it again. Let's uh, bring the side out a little bit, make it a little bit wider. Front view, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, G to move, E to extrude, S to scale, uh, R to rotate, E to extrude, E to extrude, make a foot here as well. So here we go, uh, E to extrude, E to extrude. Let's keep this really low poly now, so there we go. And arms coming out, so E to extrude, R to rotate, G to move, E to extrude, S to scale, R to rotate, uh, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, make a low poly under, S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude. That's it, and uh, let's get the belly out a little bit, and uh, let's get this side in, and we have to move the uh, arms into shape, so Alt Z, top view here. Select these vertices and rotate in, into the armature. And side view, do the same for the knees here. Okay, and we're done with that. So let's do the head. Alt set there. I to inset B. Uh, e to extrude. Let's do go side view here. And move the neck up to there. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale to there. Let's make the whole head here. Control R, two loop cuts. Scale them as well up to there. And let's make the face a little bit rounder. Square round. <laughs> okay, that's it. So let's uh, get some skin color here on that. And uh, we'll do an ear here, so I to inset, S to scale Y, and E to extrude the ear out. Uh, and then do an I here, so I and then B, scale Z, and then select these two and right click and do subdivide, thanks for that tip. Uh, A to, let's get that on, and then a black pupil here, and then now we'll do some colorization here, so uh, control, actually let's just box select all of these, uh, make a green top, I like the green color for some reason. Um, dark pants and black shoes and then we need to colorize the hand back it's not got gloves on so there okay and uh, let's bring this out again to there okay I think the first character is done so let's uh, hide him and uh, or actually let's du duplicate him now we're gonna do a police officer here so do the top view here let's do uh, control pl pl oh, control plus here how am I doing 653 okay uh, there and uh, control alt e extrude long normals actually i need to do all that uh, scale zero scale zero i said <laughs> g to there control r scale that one out and do a little cap here e to extrude control plus a scale zero make it black and then let's do the front here of the police hat so bring that one up and maybe this one out to here running out of mouse mat here and let's bring this up as well okay um i to inset i've got some weird stuff going on here i to inset b 
scale X, Alt E, and let's make a badge here on the hat. So there, and uh, you can't have a green top then, so we have to get that, and then you need a belt 558. So uh, Alt E to extrude along normals, Control plus, and black, and that's gonna be our police officer. So let's move on to the next one, firefighter. So let's hide that one, tab, uh, let's get all the stuff into black here and need to make some stripes here. So let's do uh, loop select and that, that, ah, come on. Scale, control R and then do a stripe here. Uh, select these, oh, scale, control, scale this one out. Okay, that should be the and Alt, select, shift these, control Z, that one is, no, ah, come on, I'm missing the edges. Gee, let's make that stripe, 508, okay. So, oh yeah, he needs a fireman hat as well, so, uh, control plus, Alt E, extra long normals, control plus, let's get that one into yellow, and control R, scale, move this one up, and Alt, select that one, Alt E to extrude, uh, bring that down, and bring this down as well. Okay, that's gonna be our fireman. That's it, uh, hi that one, next one, 443. Show the default guide, the noob again here. We're gonna do pregnant Peggy, Preggy Peggy. A, uh, select that one, make that pink. Uh, let's do uh, uh, here, the lower part, skin color. And uh, let's do control R here. Select these and make that purple. And uh, let's do scale, oop, sorry about that. And uh, let's extrude these, Alt E, make a skirt here. That should do. Let's make some upper part here, like what women have heard about. Alt E, extrude long normals, scale, and bring it down. Okay, you need hair as well, don't you? So, uh, Control plus, select uh, these. Alt E, Control plus, make a brown head. And let's extrude this one down, give you a little bit longer here. Let's go with all the preconception or whatever it's called. A scale zero, all the, uh, okay, that's it. Let's give you some alt Z, some shoes as well. How am I doing? 338, okay. Uh, a, G, let's make, give you purple shoes. Stereotypes galore here, great. Uh, there, move it back. And here, move this one up as well, so you get some shoes. Okay, that's it, let's do another one. So we're gonna do uh, pirate, Arr! <laughs> to redeem myself from the pirate that I did last time. So tab into edit mode, because I didn't even say R in that video. So let's do the belt again as last time here. So Alt E to extrude long normals, Control plus, let's do the black belt again. Oh. Uh, okay, that's a big belt apparently. Oh, it's got Preggy Peggy's uh, colors there. So there we go. Okay, uh, let's extrude this one, Alt E, G, Control plus, how am I doing? 247. Uh, so, scale zero, let's make this red as well, like the upper part. Let's give him a parrot this time. Uh, I have to apply the mirror modifier here, so I can give him a little parrot on the shoulder here. Uh, let's bring these shoulders down a little bit first. And here, I to inset, S to scale Y, E to extrude, uh, E to extrude, E to extrude. Let's make a really blocky pirate, par pirate here, a uh, green one. Let's make a beak here as well, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale down to there. Control plus, make that one a bit yellow. Make a little tail here as well, E to extrude, S to scale. Okay, you need a peg leg as well, don't you? So, control plus a few times uh, to there, delete. Here, uh, F to cap that one, E to extrude, uh, S to scale, E to extrude again. And uh, let's do the front view here. Uh, e to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude all the way down to there, S to scale that one. Control plus a few times and make it a uh, grey or a brown one. A 146, okay, so can I do something else for the pirate? Oh, he needs a pirate hat. So select this space, Control plus, on the ones, uh, Alt E, extrude along normal. So I've done the pirate hat for the older one, so Control plus, A, select, got black hat here. Let's move the top up a little bit, Control, oh yeah, I, I should have done this before I did the mirror. Forgot. Uh, so scale is going to be trickier now this time. Alt E, extrude long normals. To, oh, let's move it up to there. And in 110, okay. 
so scared. Okay, that's gonna have to do there. And uh, oh, he needs a hook as well. Uh, one minute. Delete faces. Select that. Cap it. E to extrude. Uh, control plus will make it gray or white or something. Uh, here, extrude. S to scale, E to extrude, control R a few times. How am I doing? 45 seconds, okay. Uh, let's do proportional editing here, and this view here. And let's ring select this and move it. Oh, I've got too much of a proportional G to move it. Got too much proportion, 28 seconds. Too much proportion, where's my proportional editing thing? It's too big. Okay, I'll have to disable that one. I don't know where it is, so let's... Oh, that's gonna... 19 seconds, R. What happened to the extrude? I couldn't even see the proportion. Oh, I have to generate the rig now, so... Uh, let's show all of these. Uh, go into the meta rig. 9 seconds! Generate rig. Select. 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 Control P. With automatic weight. <laughs> I think I did it! Oh my god! I think I did it. Ah! Oh my god, I have to stop this one. Oh my god, that was too close. That was literally on the second this time. Oh, I hope I redeemed myself for the pirate as well. So not only I got a parrot, a peg leg, and a hook. And I did say R once. So that had to redeem myself from the last one. Oh, let's hope these work now as well. So, And I recorded it. And the memory cards was all right. And I, oh my god. Pulse is pumping now. Five characters I managed to do. Five rigged characters. We haven't tested them yet, so let's uh, let's not shout too much just yet. So I have to make sure they're all decently rigged as well. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit of weight paint tweaking, but let's hope uh, most of it went well anyway. <laughs> Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'm not done yet. I'm gonna animate these a little bit as a bonus, but I just had to say that. I'm thrilled about that one. Thank you for watching. <laughs> oh my God, I'm going on. Oh, I need a sip of coffee here. It, so it wasn't 10 characters like the 10 cars, and it wasn't as detailed as the rigged uh, pirates, but there was it was somewhere in between there anyway. So five characters, good compromise. Maybe not massively different, but they kept the same uh, like visual feel to them, I guess. So and I got uh, for for uh, gender uh, panic sake, I actually got a female in there as well. I made her pregnant to make sure that's uh, no misconceptions there. That's what happens. Okay, let's see uh, what the rigging was like now as well. So in order to do that, I have to, um, let's see, tap, control tab into this rig mode here, expand this one, and bring this one down a little bit. Let's hide these and check out the first character here. So here's uh, the noob character, very low poly as you can see, but let's see how this worked. So we've got, um, that works. We'll hide the meta rig as, as usual, G, that's okay. Hand movements, okay, head movement, okay. Let's check the feet here as well. Yeah, they're good. And hip, a little shake there, that's good. Ooh! <laughs> I'll make a disco guy. All right, um, and the foot roll, let's check the foot roll as well. So Alt Z to see through here, do a foot roll, yeah. Maybe do a little bit of tweaking on the toes later on for the weight painting. Uh, but I think in general it should be good enough. Uh, oh yeah, so now we'll swap character and check out the next one. So here's the police officer, so he should also be rigged now. Yeah, and it should be, it's so similar, the geometry, so I don't think I need to do too much testing here. Um, hat here as well, or head, yeah, that's all right. He's got his belt here. No props for this one, no guns or anything like that, but that's uh, all right, I think. All right, let's uh, check out the next one here. So that's gonna be our firefighter here. He didn't get a stripe on his arm, but that's all right. Um, rotate, yeah, that's good. Rotate, rotate, okay. G, all right, that's good. Next one, Preggy Peggy. Check you out, how are your feet doing? You've got slightly different feet, yeah, they work. Okay, maybe I'll have to do a little bit of foot roll tweaking there. Basically, the toes have caught on to uh, something down there, so we can we can fix that a little bit. Uh, but overall, I'm okay with that. And then we've got our peg leg guy here, the pirate with his hook, parrot, and peg leg. So check, peg leg works, foot works, hook. 
nearly worked, but we can fix that. Uh, this will be a good uh, point to actually show how you can fix that. You go here into, uh, so these should have vertex weights to them. So all I need to do here is, uh, this one's got the def deformation hand L. So I'll just have to select these vertices here and uh, add here. Let's do uh, uh, def hand, that's R. There we go. So we need uh, to assign this one to def hand L here. That's all, that was uh, that was the fix that's needed for this one. Control tab into post mode here as well. Now the hand should work there with the hook. So that's all right. Okay, my memory card running out, so I'm gonna copy this and then I'll jump back into Blender because the bonus material this week is gonna be a few extra minutes because I'm gonna animate these. I'm gonna give them a little walk cycle. So I'll show you a little bit about that as a bonus material. There's only a few things I need to change. First of all, we go into the animation tab here and I need to set that up so I get the same look as the other one. So texture, shadow, cavity, change the type here to both and get these sliders up. We'll zoom in a little bit here. The character selected here, we'll go into, from the dope sheet here, we can switch to the action editor. Let's first uh, freeze the T-pose here. So I can do, uh, click on new here and call it T-pose. And click this little shield icon to protect it from being accidentally deleted as well. Uh, so that's the T-pose. And to get that one sorted, we just uh, mark A for all the rig stuff here. I've pressed control tab into edit mode, by the way. And I press I up here and do a location, rotation and scale. Okay, and uh, now we'll click on this icon to create a new action. And we'll call this one walk. Click the little shield again to protect it. Now let's delete all of these because we don't want all them keyframes now. Delete. I'll press control three to go into side view. And then I'll select the torso and we'll uh, turn on this uh, auto keying here to make sure that the keyframes are saved. Shift space and G to get this little cursor. And for the first frame, we're gonna drop his body center weight down a little bit to there. And that'll create the key as you can see. And then uh, on the his right leg here, I'm gonna move it back. And the left leg, I'm gonna move forward. And this is gonna be the contact pose, which is when the foot makes contact with the ground. So I'll press R to rotate the heel here and then we'll press G and move the leg into a straight position there. So that's gonna be the impact of the foot into the ground. And for this leg, I'll slide it back a little bit further and then I'll do Alt Z to see the rigging controls. And then I can press G here and move the foot up so we get a little foot roll here. That's gonna be our first pose, that's the contact pose. And then I'll skip two frames here and go to frame number four, the recoil face. Then we'll drop the body down a little bit with the torso. We'll flip this foot down into the ground like this. G. And this foot will get rid of the foot roll now, so move that to there. Press G, move it up, and R to rotate it, because now the foot is going to be coming off the ground here. So if we pan between these two, yeah, that's looking all right. And then we'll skip two frames again and go to frame number seven. And now it's going to be the passing pose, so the torso needs to go up a little bit, roughly to where it was before. And then we'll slide the left foot in under the body, center weight. At the right foot here, it's called passing pose, because now we're going to bring this leg forward and press R to rotate this one. Skip two frames again and go to frame number 10. And now it's gonna be the high pose. So we'll move it up quite a lot higher. And then this foot is gonna be moving forward, ready to be planted on the ground over here. And this foot is gonna slide backwards and start having a little bit of a foot roll on it as well. We've only changed to a, like the torso, the foot roll here and, and the feet here. So let's select those with shift selected. And now we can go to the first frame here, I to insert location and rotation for all of those. So we get definitely all of them with us. Control C to copy them, skip forward. So skip two frames here and go to frame number 13. And now we press Control Shift V. Sorry for this, I forgot to screencast keys before. So I've re-enable that one. It drops itself when I switch this tab, unfortunately. Control Shift V pastes a mirror pose here. So if I go back to one, and flip between those two, you can see that the legs have flipped side. So they're exactly the opposite. Then I go to the second animation frame, the recoil, press Control C, skip two frames here and go to frame number 16, Control Shift V. So that'll mirror this pose exactly. Then we'll skip to the third passing, Control C, and skip two frames here and go to number 19, Control Shift V. For the last one that we've got, which is the unique one, uh, we'll select that one, Control C, skip, two frames here, go to frame number 22, control shift V. And then the final one, we're gonna repeat the first frame because now we'll reach the full cycle on number, frame number 25. So I'll just go control V here instead of control shift V. And now we should have an all right walk cycle and we can change the looping point as well too. We're not gonna put it at 25 because we don't wanna repeat frame number 25 twice. It'll make it stutter a little bit. So let's loop it from here, from frame 24 instead. And now when we press play, 
we have a basic walk cycle for those feet. Okay, we're gonna fix the feet. I see that it's he's tiptoeing a little bit, so we can fix that. Uh, let's see, on this one, we'll bring the foot roll down. Let's go to side view, G to move that one down. Control C, skip to frame number 16. Control Shift V. And same thing for this frame here, we need to get this foot down as well. We don't want the, the foot roll to start just yet, so let's bring this one down. G to move this one down. And then plant the foot a little bit further down. So we'll copy those two. Control C, remembering now that we're gonna go to frame number 19 now. Control Shift V on those. That should uh, be all right, I think. Let's have a look. It doesn't really matter that the tiptoe here goes through the ground a brief moment because it's gonna be so fast that you can't really see that. We need to fix the hands as well because we don't want them to stay in place like this. And so we go to the first frame here and we select this hand and then you go into item here and then here on the, we're gonna switch from IK to FK. Uh, so instead of inverse kinematics, we want to have forward kinematics. So let's slide this one up, right click on it and do insert keyframe and the same for the other hand. So slide it up right click and insert keyframe and now his arms will be going up and down like this just to manipulate the arms I select this arm bone here the green uh, line go to front view press R to rotate this arm down just like this and then control C and then control shift V to paste that onto the other arm as well we're gonna do the opposite here so if this right leg goes back the right arm is gonna swing forward so let's select this one it's a bit tricky to pick these sometimes go into side view again and bring it up and the other arm here now let's grab that one and swing that on back with the arm going back like this now we need to select all four arm bones here like this press ctrl c and then remember that we've got a bunch of frames here but if we remember correctly that the mirrored pose here is on number 13 so here just with the arm selected i do ctrl shift v I'll flip the arms around and then same on frame number 25 here. We'll do control V now because we've still got the first frame copied here. Okay, that's gonna be the simplest of all walk cycles for this character. We'll put the other ones uh, to some different motions. And to do that, let's control tab into edit mode from post mode. And what we'll do now is uh, we'll select all the characters. So I'll expand this rig so I can see the other meshes here and I'll show those. It's control tab again to out of uh, post mode. A to select everything. Shift D, and I hold the control key to move it to the left, one unit space. Click there. And then I do the same again. Shift D, hold the control key. And then we'll do that for each character. So now we need to start hiding them. So if I expand this rig here, and then I deselect and just keep the pirate. We'll do the same for number three here. Hide all the ones. So just Preggy Peggy is there next to Peggy Leggy. Okay, if we press play now, they all have the same walk cycle, so they share them. And now let's start tweaking them. We can have some fun with this. So let's make the police have a little bit more of an assertive walk style. Control tab into post mode, and let's, on the first frame here, let's rotate his torso on the x-axis forward a little bit to give him a little bit lean, lean forward. It's not gonna work straight off the bat because now he'll uh, all the other frames here keeps uh, his torso is uh, locked into rotating vertically. And we can expand this uh, torso here, and then the quaternion here, which is the rotations. It's got four axis rotations. If I double click A here to deselect everything, and now I can delete the keyframes here by clicking B for box select, and on this quaternion here for all four rotational channels, I'll mark those. So delete keyframes. And now it'll remember the rotation from the first keyframe because it's not animating on the other ones. So now he's leaning forward a little bit. We can do some more things as well. Let's do him uh, have a, a slightly deeper recoil here so we can move him down a little bit further into the ground. And if I copy this one, I also need to paste this one on um, the second keyframe over here of this mirrored. So I need to control, control shift V. You don't really need to do shift V here because it's not mirrored. We don't need this uh, rotation actually here anyway. So let's get rid of those. Yeah, and he's sunk down into the recoil. We don't need the rotation for that one. And uh, let's go. we're going to use some leg bone stretching now. So on the passing pose, I'm going to bring him up a little bit taller. But I'll also bring up, I'll just keep the planted foot down on the ground. So let's select his uh, torso here and shift select his right foot. And let's move that one up quite a bit. It's going to look a bit funny in the beginning, but uh, we'll do some apply some principles of animation here to exaggerate the movement. 
There we go. And then also for his high post, let's bring that up really high like this. It looks really weird now, but we're moving the foot as well. So he really puts this up into the air. So now we're going to have really much higher and it looks weird if you freeze the frame, but you'll see now when, when we animate him, maybe it'll look a bit better. I'll press on this frame number seven, control C, and then we need to go into the mirrored equivalent here, which is frame number 19, control shift V. And then we need to copy frame number 10 and do control shift V here on number 22. So now if we press play, uh, keep in mind though that uh, this animation will only work in Blender. And if you export this character now into Unity, he's gonna get airborne because uh, Unity doesn't support bone stretching. It's a really unfortunate thing, but it requires too much performance to recalculate apparently, but that's so I read. So you're gonna have to live with that, even though I'd love to be able to use these animations. You can still make it a little bit assertive by raising them up higher than you normally would, but you can't stretch the bones, unfortunately. So let's rotate the head here, rotate on the x-axis. And we only have one keyframe for that one here because we're not affecting that uh, in any other one, so that's okay. Uh, let's make his arms move in a little bit in front of him. So I'll select this arm here on frame number one, R to rotate and Z and swing that arm in front a little bit. Control C and then on this frame here, the mirrored one, Control Shift V and then on this one, Control V back. So now he swings his arms a little bit in front of him. And now let's do some uh, torso twisting as well. So I'll select the torso, go to frame number one, R to rotate and then Z. We want to rotate him and twist him forward on the opposite uh, leg from which is forward. So let's bring it to there. And now all I want to do is, uh, I don't want to copy, the, oh yeah, I can copy this whole pose. So control C, and let's go forward to, we've got some rotations here that we don't need still. So uh, let's take those away. And uh, we only want this first one so far. Control C, go to the mirrored pose here, equivalent, control shift V and then go to the last one, which is the same as the first one, Control V. And now he's got uh, much more of an assertive uh, walk, I think, with some twisting hips, and you can hide the rink as well if you want to see what that one looks like. There you have it. So the bonus material this week was uh, to get these animated a little bit. If you didn't follow along all the way along, I understand it's uh, a lot of information compressed in a short period of time. We haven't gone through this very, very much. I've got some videos on uh, walk cycle, so check out that in my channel history if you want to learn a bit more about this walk cycle. In this video, I used Rigify, which is a default add-on. You need to go to Preferences here, Edit, Preferences. Just scroll down or type Rigify here and enable this one. And that's how I got the initial armature and I was, be able to, I was able to generate the rig. So we've got the noob, we've got Colin the cop, Freddy the fireman, he's burnt out by the way, that's why he's wobbling like this. And we've got Preggy Peggy and we've got Peggy Leggy. <laughs> yeah, that's it, that's all I've got. Yep. Let's be a little for fun. No? Come for yourself. Oh, we have to speak English again, so they know. So you have to pick your favorite character now. Which one's your favorite? Oh. All of them. Those are my favorite too. Yeah, can you see what they are? Police. Hmm, police. And a girl. A girl. And a pirate. And a pirate. And a farmer. Fireman. Oh, the did you say farmer? farmer? <laughs> Does he look like a farmer? <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I should have put something else on it. I mostly like the girl. But you mostly like the girl. Yeah. But I also like her. Do you see? Mostly like her. Can you see that she's pregnant? She's got a belly. <laughs> Everybody has a belly. Everyone's got a belly, yeah, that's right. Have, have you got to see what the pirate has got? Parrot. Yeah, parrot. What does he have more? Can you see? Hat. Hat. And a hook. And a hook, yeah. On his hand. And he also has something like, he has the thing that the, um, pirates usually has on their leg. But yeah. Oh yeah, it's called a peg leg. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And it has a peg leg. Should we go and play something? Yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs> <laughs>
subscribe to him. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Once go. I get a telephone, I'm going to subscribe. Thank you. All right, let's go.